Skateboards! Hey folks, welcome back. Picked up a couple of skateboards and I thought I'd show you some skateboard tricks. Not really. I've seen a few people make stuff out of old skateboards and it's really kind of intrigued me because if you look inside the skateboard, you see there's all lots of different colours in there. It's a plywood, I think. That's how they're made up. This one doesn't have many colours in it, but it still looks kind of cool. What I thought I'd do today is I would cut these up I mean, they are old, and I bought them off eBay. And I thought we would see if we could make something really cool and funky out of these old skateboards. Now, I know I mix my projects up with resin and stuff like that, but today, I'm not going to be using any resin. Just wood. Yeah, it's about time. So let's chop up these boards and see what we can make. This is going to be fun. Yeah, baby! I'm chopping up this other board um, and the wood inside is just not very good. It just doesn't look very nice. I don't think it really complements these ones. Look at these, these are quite nice. Um, so I'm not gonna use that. I did actually buy another little board here. There's not got any colors in it, but it's actually much nicer wood. You see that? I think I'm gonna use a piece of this because what I'm trying to do is make a little bit of a blank so that we can turn it on the lathe. So I'm gonna cut this one up. Okay, so I put a couple of clamps on this. Just a couple. But I need to try and clamp this down as much as possible because the boards are obviously bowed uh, quite a bit really. Um, so this blank is going to be, it's going to end up a lot smaller uh, than it is now because we're going to, it didn't quite, I couldn't quite clamp it down enough. You see we've got some gaps in here. There's going to be some gaps there. We're going to have to obviously cut this out. And the same this side. So by the time we've kind of done that, we're going to end up with a lot smaller blank. I did try and thin this off in my uh, Makita planer or thicknesser, or whatever you call it. Pretty cool this machine. Uh, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a fine dust. Well, not dust, but you know, it was dusty. Just to try and sort of thin it out and try and get out the curves. Then I put it in the sander as well. My little. Uh, BDS 250 sander from Repa Club. Um, just to try and flatten it up a bit more, but you know, before I know it, I'm gonna end up losing all the colours and you know, it's all gonna just go. So um, anyway, I'll squeeze it down as much as I can. Uh, we'll have to just wait for this overnight, see what happens, and then we're, we'll chop off all the edges, see what kind of blank we've got, and see what we can make. Hopefully, something weird. I like weird. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is like some kind of a spider. Um, we're gonna be de-clamping this now, uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the bandsaw and chop up and make a nice little blank with it. So, let's do that. You can never have enough clamps. Ooh. 
All right, uh, it's been sat here actually for quite some time because I got kind of waylaid on doing other projects and things. So, um, but this looks pretty cool. I mean, that looks nice. Now, as time has passed a little bit, not for you, but for me, it's been a couple of weeks since I started this project. It's getting close to kind of Halloween. And this is kind of orange. Well, it is orange. And I'm kind of thinking Halloween-y, orange, pumpkin-y, but I'm not gonna make a pumpkin. But what I thought I would do is try to make something Halloween-y out of this. I'm not really too sure what or how I'm gonna do it, um, but I thought I'd try to incorporate that as well. Now, if you haven't seen my little boy's channel, check him out, Charlie the Maker. I'll leave a link below in the top so you can click on it and go and subscribe to him because he's just about to put out a little Halloween project as well. Um, mind you, mine might come out before his, um, but he had the idea before me, so I've kind of stolen it from him. Um, but go and check him out, he would really love your support. But before I waffle on too much, without further ado, let's see what we can make with this. Look at this! That looks really funky. I really like this stuff. Skateboard wood! <laughs> Who would have thought? Now I know loads of people have done skateboard wood before, but I haven't! And I really like this, so I'm not going to uh, take the edges off of this, I'm going to keep it like this. Uh, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to hollow this out, but we've got some plans for this area as well. I had a bit of a snap out here which I've glued back in, but that's okay, it's going to kind of add to the kind of like weird scariness that it's going to become. Well, hopefully anyway. So I've just coated that up with a bit of sand and sealer. I'm going to rub it down a bit more, maybe put a bit more on it and then maybe finish it with some wood wax 22. Um, and then I'm going to part this off and this is going to be our lid. And then we're going to hollow out the base. Let's do this. <laughs>
Happy Halloween! It's your skateboard Halloween box. So I thought I would turn this. It wasn't actually going to be a Halloween project until it kind of got delayed um, and then it started to come around. I thought to myself, yeah, let's try and make this a bit Halloween-y. There it is. That's my attempt of a Halloween project. This clips down so you can actually hang this up if you want. Maybe I'll hang it in my shop. That might be quite funky. We could hang it in the shop all year round. So obviously the bit fell off the back there, but I kind of glued that back on and that's okay. You know, because it's kind of supposed to look kind of a little bit rusticy, kind of like, you know, messy, kind of funky, weird, strange. I mean, it's not meant to be perfect. So, and I got a little light in there as well. And everyone always asks about putting lights in things. And I know you love the lights and this looks quite cool. <coughs> so just check this out quickly. Let's switch some of these lights off. So you can just sort of see, there you go. Hang on, let me turn the main light off. There. Ooh. It's Nick Zamari's Halloween. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, stuff for like that. Surprise! So what do you reckon? I think it turned out okay. Got my little emblem in the bottom there. <coughs> and this kind of wood is, is really quite cool. I've say, seen a few projects, a few people make kind of stuff. Uh, out of uh, skateboards, old skateboards, uh, which is really quite cool. So it's given me some ideas, hopefully you as well. If you've got an old skateboard lying around, hey, chop it up, don't chuck it away. Chop it up, make a little blank from it and make something cool from it. You can actually buy these kind of old ones and you can buy new decks as well. They're only about 20 quid. Um, That's about 30 bucks. Um, and then you can just chop it up and uh, you don't get a lot from it. I have got some bits left over, which I might, sort of chop into bits, maybe chunks, chuck it in with resin next time, maybe see if we can turn something really cool out of that. These bits here, we can just chop these up, you know, make like loads of little pieces. Because look at the wood, I mean, it's so cool. I kind of suppose it's kind of the same sort of stuff, material as a spectra ply uh, that they use, but obviously it's, I don't know, maybe they put it together differently or not, I don't know. Um, I did have a little bit of a problem with it sort of like breaking its seal in some areas where I put it on the sander and I think the, the glue got too hot um, and it sort of started to break away. So I've had to kind of like clamp it a little bit together with some CA glue, super glue in England. Um, and that's kind of sealed itself back together again now. But I think it was just because of the fact that it was, it did get a bit hot. And this glue, this, this Gorilla Glue is brilliant, but um, I think when it heats up, when you heat it up, it just loses all of its stickiness. So what do you reckon? Funkadelic enough for you? Yeah, baby, yeah! So there we go, we could hang it sort of like here. So it's kind of all, oh, you can't even see it there. So we could hang it so like coming down here or something like that, so you can always see it maybe. And we could always maybe put the light on in the background. Um, but yeah, I think I'll keep it for my shop, I reckon. Um, and we'll hang it up somewhere. So you can always look at that and go, oh, look at that. When did he make that? I didn't know he made one of them. You can maybe look back at the video and watch me make it. If you haven't seen it already. Don't forget to check out Charlie the Maker, link below. He will be making his Halloween project as well soon. It's better than mine. Please go and check it out. He would really love a few more subscribers on his channel. Don't forget Makers Central if you haven't heard, because I know I've had a fairly large influx of new followers come over to the channel, so welcome to my humble abode, the shed. Um, and you may not even know, but we're basically, we're putting on a show, a makers show, for kind of, well, it's more of a kind of gathering really, of makers, the maker community. And we're bringing together YouTube makers, Instagram makers, just any makers, together from all over the world to one hub called Makers Central and it's going to be held next May uh, at the Birmingham at the Birmingham at the NEC in Birmingham um, and it's uh, held over two days the 11th and 12th of May we've got some really cool people coming to the show uh, if you can make it for one day brilliant a couple of hours brilliant pop in see us all I'll be there obviously and loads of other people will be there we've got loads of demos for people we've got loads of things to see um, there's all sorts of crafts and things you can get involved in. Bring your kids. It's going to be a really fantastic weekend. It's really, really cool. Um, so looking forward to that. Tickets are on sale now. So you can grab your ticket now. They're only about 20 quid. So grab one now. And then you got it then. It's kind of like an early Christmas present for yourself. Oh my God! You're going to love it. So I hope you like that, folks. 
Uh, there's my Halloween project for you. I don't think I did one last year. I think I did one the year before. It was really weird. But this one's probably a bit weirder. I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers for coming over to the channel. I really do appreciate all your love and support. Thanks so much. Please share the video if you're feeling extra generous. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Take care! <laughs>